So hello guys, uh, this is Yudaya. So today we are going with my TCS Prime interview experience. You know, uh, recently TCS visited our GBP campus for various different roles, and uh, among all of them, 170 Prime interviews were scheduled. Uh, you know, uh, I was one of them, and yeah, I'm also selected for the Prime role. So let us uh, discuss this TCS interview experience. So coming to the process. So coming to the uh, TCS uh, process, you need to write first of all the NQT test. Uh, what it will contain. So it will containing some MCQs of four sections. Uh, you know, uh, those four sections are like, uh, there'll be aptitude section, reasoning section, uh, verbal section. So there will be four sections alike. So you need to attempt the MCQs over there. And after that, you will be given two coding problems. Okay. So these two coding problems are like, so I can explain you. The first question was, you know, the input will be given on the string format, uh, let us say, uh, I'll be giving you this times. So something like a Monday duration. Yeah. So Monday, the duration is something like a four hour 32. So your Tuesday, your duration is like six hour 57. So, uh, he'll be given, giving you the statement. So, you know, there'll be a person, uh, you will be given the exercise duration of that person on every single day. So on Monday, he exercised for 4 hours 32 minutes. On Tuesday, he exercised for 6 hours 57 minutes. So you need to compute the total average uh, exercise duration. Uh, you need to compute the total average exercise duration of the whole week. So whatever the statements that he'll give you. So you need to extract all those times and convert them into minutes. And you know, you have to, you have to, average it and you need to output and you know it won't be that much simple as like you know you're seeing it here because uh, if you're using uh, c++ then uh, you know i would suggest you to check out these functions uh, string stream because uh, you'll be taking you need to convert that uh, integers from the string right so you can use the string stream and also uh, you know check out the set precision because while you're uh, taking the average so he asked us to print up to two decimals, I think. Yeah, up to two or one decimal. So he asked to uh, print the output. So yeah, so you need to, if you're a C++ user, just take a look on these two functions. And coming to the next coding question. Uh, so he'll be giving you two integers. Let us say some A is equal to seven and B is equal to something like a 40. So you need to output the total count of palindromic numbers in these two ranges. Uh, so let us say here, what will be the palindromic numbers? That is 7, 8, 9, 11, 22, 33, right? Correct. So from even uh, if you reverse these digits, you should be getting the same number again. So you need to total, uh, you know, output the total count in this given A, A, A to B range. So the answer will be 6, right? So you can uh, apply a brute force logic over here. You can just take every integer, convert it to string, and you can uh, apply the basic logic over there. So you can do like that and it will be accepted. Okay. And also, you know, these code editors will be very bad. And uh, if you're using Python, then, you know, you will be facing a lot of issues and he'll be giving you some lot of uh, indentation errors because I tried my first problem in Python. Um, it is very, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh, and also there won't be any like undo and, you know, control A, control C, these keys won't be working over there. And you need to be very careful while you're writing the code. Uh, because even if uh, due to some or other reason, if your code got deleted, then you have to you have to write it once again. There will be no choice, you know, to skip that part. So you need to take care of the uh, code editor over there and act accordingly. And yeah, see for this, uh, uh, if you solve one question here, then you will be if you solve one coding question, then mostly you will be scheduled with TCS Digital. And if you solve two coding questions then you will be scheduled for TCS prime rule. Okay. And if you haven't completed a single question, then you will be scheduled with ninja rule. Okay. So, uh, and after the results of this NQT test, the gap is like there are 20 days for our interviews scheduled in our college. And so uh, coming to my interview round, From our college, there were around 170 shortlists for prime interview. So coming to my interview experience, you know, there were two interviewers are there. One is 
MR, Manage, Serial Recruiter and another one is TR. So there will be two guys uh, who will be interviewing you. And so coming, uh, so it started with the intros and, uh, you know, he asked. Yeah, and this is uh, also the important factor. So uh, for whatever the interview you are going, uh, just keep uh, reminding about these questions, TCS and QT questions. So they'll be asking you about the TCS and QT questions. So uh, they asked me to explain uh, what are those questions and how did you solve those two questions. So I have explained them uh, in a, just an overview. So and after after this, he told me to write a code on the central tendency here. Central tendency. So he asked me to write a code for the central tendency. I, I don't know what is the central tendency. Uh, like. There's a feeling like, yeah, I have heard it somewhere, but you know, I'm not uh, remembering it exactly. So then he said, uh, need to write the code for this mean, median and more. Okay. So I have uh, written the code on the paper. They have given some, they have given some paper and you know, you need to write the code uh, on the paper itself. And he checked that. And uh, I also just told uh, what I am trying to do uh, in my code. And after that, uh, you know, after that, he explained, he asked me to explain the project. Uh, not my project. <laughs> the twist is, you know, uh, he, he is working on some other project and he just uh, showed his project and, you know, there are some functions. Uh, he took out some part of his code and he told me to explain uh, like uh, what what is exactly going in this project. So just uh, take uh, some two, three minutes and uh, just try to explain me the whole thing. So. Uh, you know, it is somewhat like it is like a it is in the Python language, and you know, it is uh, involved with this numpies and pandas uh, and this data frames, all those things. You know, I tried uh, as much as I can. Yep, uh, I tried to explain uh, in whatever the way that I can uh, in like an overview. So after that, uh, you know, he was not that much satisfied. You know, but I also told him uh, I'm not. Uh, I understand the Python, but you know. I don't know. I'm not exactly familiar with this uh, NumPy's and Pandas library. So then, uh, you know, he moved on to the next thing. Uh, so like coming to this next thing, uh, there are uh, discussions on this uh, chat GPT. Yeah. First, uh, like before moving uh, on to this topic, uh, he asked me, uh, like, do you know anything about uh, AI and ML? Do you know anything about uh, this cloud? Do you know anything about this park? So he asked me like that. So I, I, I'm just saying, no, no, I'm not uh, like, I'm not aware of uh, those recent technologies. Like, you know, so then he came on to the chat GPT and he asked me like, uh, do you use uh, chat GPT in your daily life? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I said, yes, uh, I use it. So then, you know, there's a lot of discussion on thing uh, on this uh, chat GPT. Like, you know, uh, what do you think uh, there are disadvantages in this chat GPT? And uh, like, so I've said something. So then there are some cross uh, cross questions from his side and, you know, uh, like there's been a lot of discussion and i've shared like every uh, you know knowledge whatever i know and you know there's also like i've been mentioning the things like you know for every 10 prompts in the chat gpt you will be requiring uh, you know some two liters of water to maintain it so there like uh, whatever the things i have uh, read in the some articles or uh, you know i'm just i've just told everything and uh, to up to what extent i can and uh, after this uh, after this discussion you know, then there's a uh, one achievement, you know, uh, I have mentioned in my resume based on blockchain. So then he jumped onto this blockchain and there again, uh, like we have discussed, like basically uh, our team was runner ups in the IBC Althack uh, blockchain idea. -thon. So we discussed our idea and uh, he, he uh, like there's a debate on uh, why you could, why do you need this uh, blockchain? Uh, why can't we do it in the web 2.0? Uh, so there's a lot of discussion on the blockchain again uh, you know uh, i don't remember exactly but you know it was like a just like a conversation so he is expressing his thoughts and i'm just uh, expressing whatever my view is on that and you know uh, sometimes uh, whatever he is saying like uh, sometimes i'm also agreeing uh, with whatever uh, you know he is contradicting with this so yeah after this uh, blockchain discussion and he asked me uh, like if there's any challenge uh, you know like if there's any issue, how do you solve it? Uh, he asked me like that. So what I told is, uh, I just uh, related to my summer internship at Cisco experience, uh, you know, if uh, whatever the steps that I followed, you know, to solve some particular issue. And in this question, he is not just uh, 
trying to test like what I answer. Like he is trying to test uh, whether I'm a team player or not. So, uh, you know, he asked me like uh, whether you do it by yourself or or you will reach out to your team. Uh, so I've just answered those questions. And, you know, after this one and also uh, there are questions on this networking. So he asked me uh, this OSI layer. Uh, so what are the layers in the OSI layers? And, uh, you know, TCS is also uh, working in some of these layers. Do you know what are what are those layers? And he also asked me about, uh, you know, this uh, UDP protocol, how does it work? So I'm just uh, trying to explain everything by mentioning an example. So if you, so while he was asking uh, the UDP protocol, so I'm uh, mentioning like, you know, you'll be using in the streaming services. So it will be majorly used when the loss of packets can be afforded. And, you know, uh, coming to this TCP protocol, uh, you will be using this protocol when, uh, when you need the connections in such a way that uh, not a single packet can be lost. You know, I'm, I'm mentioning all those uh, live examples. So coming to TCP protocol, you can use it in the Gmail while sending a message to the another person. So there, uh, you know, not even a single character can be missed, right? So, yeah, so I was uh, giving those examples and, and explaining. And he asked me about, uh, do you know this HTTP protocol and in what layer will it be present? And there are there were also some other questions. I don't remember it exactly, but, you know, there were a lot of questions on this uh, computer networking also for me. And after this, you know, he asked me, uh, like, uh, what I mentioned uh, achievements about my competitive programming. So he asked me, like, what is this competitive programming? What do you do in this CP? So I'm just uh, explained what is CP and uh, what I would do. And he also asked me, like, uh, what are all algorithms that you know and can you explain it so i've listed everything so up to from binary search to graphs like there's dynamic programming there's uh, you know tree traversals this graph problems and those algorithms like knapsack this takes trust you know and i'm just uh, listening to those whole things and out of all those he asked me to explain uh, explain one or two of them so I've, I've explained it over there and coming and after that yeah there's some discussions on algorithms and after that, yeah, um, and after that, uh, what happened over there is, uh, there's a physical copy of my resume and the MR took that uh, physical copy and, you know, he asked me, uh, is there any mistake in your resume? He is asking me like, you know, there's a, in my GPA, uh, my GPA is 9.06 and that last six digit is only printed half, you know, so I'm just, uh, I've just told yeah, this could be the mistake because the digit is half uh, half printed. So, you know, uh, then he uh, replies me with, uh, so you're uh, aware of uh, your resume. So, and even uh, even though you're aware of your mistakes, you still didn't correct, uh, corrected uh, your resume. So you need to check out, right? Uh, before coming to the interview, uh, two, three times, you need to check out the documents, right? So he is, um, you know, he kept on uh, uh, stressing about that point for five minutes and, you know, and uh, apart from that, I think, yeah, these are all the major things, you know, my interview was mainly, uh, if I want to conclude it, you know, uh, at the starting uh, stage, he tested out about the coding part. And then there is a lot of discussion on the current technologies part. Uh, I've said, you're right, uh, we had a discussion on chat GPT, on blockchain, uh, like, and up to what extent I'm aware in those technologies. And also, uh, he asked me about this computer networking. And... Yeah, uh, that's that's all about my interview round. And you know, at the end of the interview, I asked uh, about the feedback, like uh, in what areas I could uh, improve. So he told me, uh, you know, uh, we know like uh, you're you're very good with your uh, programming skills. Uh, we can understand that. But you know, uh, whenever you're going to an interview, just try to uh, be well aware of the current trending topics because you know, at the starting of my interview, he tried to ask me like uh, questions on AI ML and spark uh, you know uh, all this cloud and azure so i've said like you know i'm not aware of those topics so that's that is the only feedback that i got from my uh, this uh, interview round and after this uh, once this interview round is completed uh, you know i went to hr round and what is this hr round is all about is you know uh, they'll be verifying your documents uh, whatever the documents that you brought over there so they'll be verifying those documents and yeah there'll be uh, some questions again so Again, so why do we want to hire you and why do you want to join TCS? And also, if you got offers from another company, will you still be able to join TCS or you'll join the other company? And, you know, what would you do 
if the work hours are extended and you know he also asked me one question like uh, have you done anything out of your passion so you know um, yeah i have been answered all those things and also at the end of the interview uh, you know he uh, suggested me one thing uh, your communication is very good uh, but still the choice of wording will matter because you know this question uh, uh, will you be able to work if the work hours are extended he, he asked me like that so i've answered it uh, you know in my starting years i i'll work i'll be very aggressive in the learning uh, in the learning process so then he asked me uh, you know so what do you mean by aggressive so you know i i know your intention but you know you have to be uh, very careful with your choice of wording because aggressive uh, will go in a different way so so you have to be uh, very careful uh, you know whenever you're dealing with the customers so so he gave me a uh, feedback like that and yeah that's all about my hr round interview so yeah after that uh, within two days we got this result so coming to this uh, what i will suggest is for this prime interview see first thing uh, first of all be very thorough with your resume okay whatever you have mentioned in the resume you have to be very well prepared for that and after this core subjects prepare this core subject questions including sql okay including sql and after this yeah yeah after this uh, just uh, try to focus uh, just try to brush up the recent uh, trending technologies and uh, try to know more about them before going to the interview because you know in my round of interview it does matter so yeah it will be helpful so after after preparing this you know see uh, there were my friends interviews also like you know uh, for one person they have asked they were, yeah for some of the persons they also asked to write the quotes of their projects that they have mentioned so you have mentioned this project right uh, so in this project how will you write the quote for this uh, for this feature so try to try to write it in the quote so they have asked like that and also you know one of the friend mentioned about a docker about a docker in his project so he asked him to write all the docker commands so you know there can be a lot of questions like that so and also for some other people they have touched on the operating systems and oops subjects you know so we can't expect you know because uh, it will be completely based on the interviews uh, how your interview will be so uh, what my suggestion is you know just uh, be confident and uh, you know try to express uh, yourself more clearly and you know it's all about how well you present um, just just try to uh, you know make sure that you present very well enough you know so that the interviewer should recognize you uh, you know with your some unique aspect you should be having some unique aspect so that you could be recognized out of all other people so that will that will that can uh, you know make you selected for this roles see if uh, what i'm talking about is uh, if, if i uh, go to my interview experience uh, maybe you know i'm not answered every question but you know i just i just uh, try to make sure uh, you know that my strongest point is my programming skills and and i I've, i've just explained uh, everything and you know i've made them understood like uh, by mentioning all those achievements and you know in those discussions they have understood uh, this guy programming skills are very good so you know you have to uh, have some unique factor like that so for someone it might be their uh, web development skills for some other skills like that so you have to master one skill such that you are in the top so that you know you can be easily recognized out of all of the members so that can uh, you know help you to clear this uh, prime interviews easily so yeah so that's it for the day and if you're still having any doubts you know you can uh, comment down below uh, i'll be happy to reply you